so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so the, the, today's video is going to going to be about serialize and deserialize a binary tree let us have a look at the problem all right so the question provides you to complete two functions first is to serialize and another one is to deserialize by serialize i mean to convert this given tree into a vector format into a vector format and the deserialize means suppose this vector you named as v to deserialize means to take this v as input and give me the exactly same tree which is this one give me the tree right so the process is simple in serialize we convert this tree into a vector v and in deserialize a vector v is converted to the same tree which we got in the serialize right the function the question will return true only when deserialize of serialize gives me the exact same tree give me the exact same tree this is the only condition you have to satisfy to give you the correct tree right now how will we solve it how will we solve it how can we implement serialize and how can we implement deserialize right now serialize asks me to maintain a tree to a vector which is very simple how will i do it so to convert any tree into a vector v i will use a traversal technique i will use a traversal technique and in this case i would like to use a pre order traversal don't ask me why did i go for pre pre order traversal i just wanted to go you can go from post order you can go from in order also and i want you to give me the code for post order in the comment section previously in the in today's video i also asked some uh, a question about a code and i'm glad to say that many of you have commented the correct code and i'm able to expand my knowledge base also right okay in the today's question i would request you to take an idea from the pre order and give me the code for post order and in order right okay so the given question is 10 20 30 40 60 this is my given tree right this is my given tree now in the pre order the technique says i will draw the dashes here right and start the pre order traversal start the pre order traversal now before starting the pre order traversal i want you to keep in mind that you have to use the same vector to give me the tree back again to give me the tree back again so you will have to make some modification in your pre order to facilitate this process right because on the basis of solely on the basis of pre order this is not possible this is not possible right so i want you to do something extra okay start the pre order traversal 10 20 40 so pre order traversal becomes 10 20 40 right after that in the pre order we actually visit 40 is left and then 40 is right right so 40 is left which is actually null so i want you to keep minus 1 in place of null minus 1 will represent my null values minus 1 this will again give me a minus 1 and then i will go towards this node 60 then 60 also have left and right as null so minus 1 for both of them right my pre order travels will come from this 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 and then 30 30 also have minus 1 as my, minus 1 and minus 1 as left and right right this is my actual pre order where minus 1 represents my null values minus 1 represents my null values in the constraint section of the question it has been given that the uh, values of the tree are actually greater than 1 are actually greater than equals to 1 so minus minus say, minus 1 is a safe value to use right so this is my traversal i will return this as my answer to serialize right how will the pseudo code of this look like exactly similar to the pre order traversal i will make a pre order traversal let us say void pre i will take a uh, root and i will take my vector by reference now if my root is equals to equals to null that is i will have to push minus 1 in this case so v dot push back minus 1 and then simply return right and then go to the roots left and roots right right so if it is not null v dot push back that is simple pre order i guess you all know about it so roots data and then same pre for roots left with v and pre for roots right for v and then this function is called by the serializable function and then serializable will return the v right serializable serializable is bilkul correct it is serializable is perfectly correct now i have got this vector as my serializable serialized uh, vector of the tree and i want to use this vector 
to make the tree again how can i do it how can i do it this is very actually simple if you understand the traversal technique depth but what is the meaning of traversal technique then deserializable is actually the most easiest part of the question right so let us move to the deserializable part so moving on to the deserializable part okay so what is actually the pre order traversal so pre order traversal says first i will traverse my root then i will explore its left then i will explore its right exactly the same thing you have to do you will keep an index pointer here right and you will send it to the pre order traversal right so now i am at 10 i have to explore my root again so i will make a node as 10 right it will has left and right initially as null because when a, when we make a new node we actually set the left and right of the no, uh, node value to the null right after making 10 my index will move forward 20 i encounter 20 now because i am at left so 20 will be attached to left i move my index forward 40 40 will come here i move my index forward minus 1 minus 1 will come here and because it is minus 1 instead of putting minus 1 here i will actually put null here move my index forward again a minus 1 this is because this is null i will move to the right of the 40 null again right index comes here now this tree has been done full root left right 20's right will come in the place 60 will be placed here this index is for minus 1 that is null of 60 i move to this index right null of 60 right this tree has been explored full this subtree has been explored full 20 subtree has been explored full and 10's right is left right so my index is now at 30 i will make a node for 30 and minus 1 and minus 1 indicates this is null here and null here yes this was actually that simple this was actually that simple so what is my pseudocode for this one i am actually using a solve function here so i will say node star solve which is actually taking my v that is my vector and my index now is this index is by reference this is indexed by reference right okay so if v of end is equals to equals to minus one that is i have to insert a null so i will null i will say return null right otherwise i will say node star root equals to new node and what is the value of this new node it is v of end right now roots left will now be so, uh, sorry after inserting the end i will have to increment my end also right i will have to increment my end as we saw here we were incrementing my end again and again right end was coming here 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 so after increment after putting the value n plus plus right and because it is by reference it will affect globally right solve for uh, v with n only right and then solve for roots left roots right will become v solve for v end that is the simplest thing you have to do and your code will run fine right your code will run fine okay so let us move over to the coding section today's question is actually very easy i don't understand why it is given in the medium section right so let us try to code it down so before moving on to the coding section i would request you to please 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 subscribe to my channel if you're new here and do not forget to hit the like button as much as possible also i'm bringing out new questions of the lead code also so if you want any help with those questions please 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 watch that and support me in my journey right okay so in the case of serialize i will first make a vector to return so vector int answer let us say and i will call a pre-order function and i will send my root here and my answer here and then when the function call begin, uh, finishes i will just return my answer right so let us complete the function of pre-order so pre-order is actually a void type function pre which is taking a node star root and my answer that is vector of int and this is by reference to so and answer right and percentile answer now we discussed that if root equals to equals to null in that case we will push minus one so answer dot push back minus one and just simply return but in case it is not uh, null in that case push the data of the root so push back roots data and then solve for roots left and roots right root left with answer and pre of root right of answer right and then simply return this will give me the pre-order traversal which i am returning in the answer this is actually very simple so serializable has nothing to do with the complexity right moving on to the deserializable which is actually more simple if you try to understand so deserializable is actually returning return let us call a function solve which is taking my a and i will give an index by reference so my index is actually zero 
and I will send it by reference, right? So let us call make a function for, uh, solve. So it is actually returning a node star, which I am returning in return. So solve, I'm taking a vector int and a, and I'm taking a reference variable of int, right? Now, if a of int is equals to equals to minus one, in that case, I will have to insert null. So int plus plus and return null. Don't forget you're incrementing your index every time you uh, make a node, right? Otherwise, if it is not minus one, in that case, my node star root, let us say, is equals to new node. What is the value? It is a of n, a of n, right? And then my root, and also after making it, I will have to increment. See, I also forgot. Please don't forget while writing the code, roots left is actually equals to solve for a with index and roots right is equals to solve for a with index and after that return your root this code should work fine let us try try to compile and run it in the meantime you can follow on my follow me on my social media handles and if you have end out left you know where to contact me the links of the social media handles are present in the description also in the cases of my lead code series please 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 if you have any doubts in any of the lead code question please comment down so i will make sure to put that video on the channel okay so you can see 139 day streak thank you for watching have a nice day signing off